Tschüss. drinks and smoke the joint bubbles? Yes. <laughs> and smoke the joint bubbles? Yes. <laughs>
um, on the same exact seed. So that means that his drop list will be identical to my drop list. So, for example, if I happen to win Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon against, I don't know, Villager 2, which is possible, then that would mean that Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon also drops on Villager 2 for Super, since we're on the same seed. Uh, but we don't know what card drops where, so the only real way to know is by fighting everybody until we figure out what cards drop where. And then from there, we'll farm for the really powerful cards like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Gate Guardian, Megamorph, Swords of Revealing Light. And then we will try to beat the game with that. It should be a lot of fun. We've done many, 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 many randomizers in the past, and they've always been really fun. So that's the only thing we randomized with this one is the card drops. There's other options you can randomize with the randomizer uh, tool, but just drops is, is the fun one. Yeah, it's 15 card as well. Yeah, so we'll get 15 drops at the end of every duel as well. 15 totally random drops. So yeah, should be good. Also, at the end of this stream, I'm well, actually, once this stream is over... I'm going to stop the stream and I'm going to be starting a new stream and um, I'm going to be um, opening up a lot of stuff that I got in the mail. Um, there is the card shop owner. Um, what was his name? Uh, Jake Rigby, I think was his name. I, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I think it was it was that. But um, he's the owner of a card shop and he sent me some stuff uh, at the beginning of the 24 hour stream, I believe. So, it just arrived today. Um, we have a Blazing Vortex booster box. We have, um, it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold box. Um, and we also have a structured deck that came out. It's, um, I forget what it's called. It's called, like, Frozen something or Icy something like that. Um, so, those three things were all sent to me by him graciously. Thank you. Um, so, we'll be doing a, an extra stream just for that after this. Um, and, you know, make sure you buy all your cards and shit from that place. Like I said, I'll properly be shouting it out during that stream when the time comes. And it'll be a grand old time. So, yeah, that's the plan for tonight. It'll be lots of fun. In the meantime, let's play some rando. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Should be a good time. It should be. Yeah, it really will be. I haven't we haven't done randomizer in forever. Yeah, I'll be disappointed if Simon drops, drops like it. three Megamorphs. <laughs> yeah. I will essay Pal Simon. How's that sound? What was that? I'll try to essay Pal Simon. You can go for BCD if you want. Sounds good. I'll do my best if my deck is somewhat capable of BCDing without taking forever. I'm trying to start with Regeki, by the way. I'm yeah, really I'm going to try to start with Regeki, too. Just in case we don't find it. It's really helpful to have Regeki in these. Okay, I have Regeki. That's good. I don't. I smile. smile. Smilers damn, in the smiling. chat? I guess I'll essay Pau Simon. Lol. Sounds good. Well, we'll see. It depends on what kind of... If, if it looks like I can easily BCD him, like on my opening hand, then I'll do it. Sounds good, dude. Like if I draw my Regeki early or something. That'd be funny if that happened, but hopefully it doesn't. I set drop rates to be between 15 and 60. So, nothing, nothing can be overly common or overly rare. At least as, as far as 15 card mod goes, so... It should hopefully be pretty balanced, but we'll see. It'll be fun no matter what. I'm not gonna check my deck this time because I don't want to be two duels behind. Well, my duel is really slow because I can't fuse anything, so. Please start with Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
I just started I just with um one, two, three beasts, a bunch of females, and four thunders. Four thunders. Wow. Yeah. That's that pretty insane. Yeah. Are you gonna essay? I'm trying to be city at this point, but I'm not. It, it, I might end up a powering. I don't know. I'm going definitely going under 27 cards left. So. This deck would have been so nice oh that. In name. Well, I'm easily a safe pound here because I drew 2k. And my starting field was mountain as well. Wow. What the fuck? I didn't see my equip. I think it was like fucking cyber shield or something. I don't know. Now, oh, this is going to be an essay. I just didn't draw any of my like regeki or fusions really. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can fuse electric lizards. Oh my god. What? Megamorph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, Megamorph is Simon SA Pow Boys. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jake Rigby, what's up? We'll be doing the card open. I, I got uh, everything in the mail today. So after this run is over, I'm going to be switching over to opening everything up. It'll be a separate stream right after this one. So uh, if you're around, provided, then we'll be doing that. Man, I missed my old card. <laughs> you should eat you. The only thing I got was two Garma Swords on APOW against them. Yeah, I got one Garma Sword, so it's, um... It one must Megamorph be pretty common. One Garma Sword? Wow, you're dog shit. Yeah, dude, I'm horrible at this game. Fuck, dude, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Wipes piss off of pants. God damn it. Until 10.30 or so EST. Might be pretty close then. I'm BCDing uh, Taya. Nice. The one thing that's kind of boring about Randomizer is just that... Since you get a bunch of like 1k attackers in the beginning, there's no fusing to place out fuse stickers. Yeah. No, enemy cards are not randomized, at least in this particular randomizer. It is an option to have their cards randomized, um, but not, not, not in this one. We're just doing drops. Typically, when you randomize the enemy, randomize the enemy decks, what ends up happening is pretty much everybody ends up throwing out like 2k monsters, like around there, um, and then you'll get the occasional like Gate Guardian or, or Pugum or something crazy. But for the most part, everyone will just play 2k's, because you'd be surprised how many monsters there are between like. 1,621, 22, 2,300 in the game. Well, I got absolute fucking trash on BCD. I won uh, a bunch of rituals from Mestay Pau Teana and Launcher Spider. So she thought shit. That's better than what I won. I didn't win anything above, like, I won Fairy of the Fountain, 1600, and that was, like, the best mu thing I got. Jesus. It was complete and utter poopy. One, two, three, four, five, six.
it's random drops that are set for each duelist, Jake. So um, the way that it works is that each every time you want to do randomizer, you generate like a brand new ISO that is based off of like a seed number. And then that seed number like sets the drop list for every single duelist completely randomly. And then we just have to figure out who drops what. But it is consistent. So since I won Megamorph from Simon, that means I can go back to Simon and farm for Megamorph there. Like it will continue to drop. What rank are you getting on no one by the way? Because I have BC right here in my hand. SA pal. Okay. I'm that worked out. I found Bright Castle and a ton of 2k attackers. Oh wow. Nothing on SA, pal. Except for like Serpent Knight Dragon and shit like that, but nothing really good. Bam. So SA, pal, Simon is Megamorph, and then BCD Villager 1 is Bright Castle so far. How do you randomize this? There's a tool called FM Scrambler um, that you can use to randomize. If you type in exclamation point download and you go to the second pastebin link, it's the one that's like to download all other FM mods, click here. There is, um, there should be anyways, a link to the FM Scrambler in that pastebin. Uh, Duel Master K, I'm probably not going to check him unless we really can't find good cards. That's usually what I do is I'll just, I, I only really check him if like we're getting like deeper into the world tournament. We still haven't found any good cards, like any really good cards. Then I'll go back and check him. But so far, it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary, honestly. Because we already have Megamorph, so and Bright Castle, so we're already good on equips. So now we just really need to find strong monsters like you know MBD, Pugum, Gate Guardian, Blue Eyes Ultimate, and then Swords of Revealing Light, which is the most powerful magic card in the game. Nothing good on SA Pal Villager Two except for like Suijin. Yeah, nothing. Build two two SA pal. I thought I got a V two D when I did. Yo, what's up, Rick? MS Senpai, Jonathan, how y'all doing? Hello, Marijuana. How you doing? The Marijuana? Oh, the God. Marijuana is in my stream right now. How about that, dude? What the fuck? That's insane. Getting all these big names in my fucking channel. We got Daco. We got The Marijuana. It's crazy shit, dude. PewDiePie, you know. Yeah, dude. Pew Pewds hangs out in here all the time, dude. He's like, what's up, GFC community, bro feast, and stuff like that.
Um, Trihorn Dragon. On Villager 3 SA, pal. It's the best monster that we found so far. I got Sword Arm of Dragon from BCD. Lol. And Blue Eyes Ultimate Sword of Dragon 2. Nice. There's two of them. Find the other one. <laughs> So yeah, chat, like, we're not really getting hype over, like, you know, Trihorn Dragon. It is really strong, but for the most part, the only cards that we're really going to care about as far as monsters go are cards that are, like, 3,000 attack or higher. I would say Cosmo Queen would also probably count, because that's going to be really useful late game. So, like, Cosmo Queen and up is really all we're going to give a shit about as far as monsters goes. But it's still nice to win things like Trihorn to help out early on. Thanks for good luck, Rodrigo. Uh, it's still going on. Duelist Kingdom is. What happened to the tournament? Is there something new? The Duelist Kingdom tournament? Yeah, the Duelist Kingdom tournament is going on for, like, another month and a half. Yeah. You'll, you'll definitely see a lot more Duelist Kingdom stuff on my channel very, very, very soon. After I finish Egypt, I'm going to go um, take care of business. Ah, okay, okay. Poopy. Poopy time? Poopy time? <laughs> Poopy. Wow, dude, wow, wow. I just made Quinn headed with a fucking Harpy's Pet Dragon. That is Pogue Champ, not going to lie. It's epic, nay nay. I know, I know, I know. Stop, stop, stop. Alright, I'm BCD Jono one. Let's see what I get. Absolutely fucking nothing. That is about expected. Yeah. These are some bad fucking drops, dude. Wow. I got <laughs> fucking great mobs from BCD Jono. Yeah, great mammoth was the best thing that I got too, by far. No, I've never emulated this game on a handheld system. Well, that's not true actually. I did at one point emulate this on um on my Android device a very long time ago on my phone. Yo, shit, the Exalted one with the $25 donation. God damn. Thank you so much. He says, let's get this Dono train started. Dude, hell yeah. Let's get the Dono train started. Let's get it started, lads. You heard the man. Give 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 shackles, anything. Just a reminder, chat. Uh, once we reach that donation goal, that is below me? Yeah, I think it's below me on this layout. Once we reach that donation goal, once that little green bar fills up all the way, uh, I will be doing a 24-hour live stream, which will be taking place next week, provided we hit the donation goal by then. And um, it'll be really cool, because it is going to be a lot of viewers' choice games. Um, I'm going to let the top five donators um, choose five separate games that I'm going to play during the 24-hour live stream. Right now, I believe it's Exalted One, who is definitely near the top as far as how much has been donated so far. And there was someone else who did a $75 donation who is also at the top. Um, so, so far, those two people are at the very top and will be choosing what goes on during the 24-hour live stream. 
at least five of the games that we play. So they can pick FM Remastered. They can pick more Duels of the Roses. Uh, they can pick pretty much whatever they want, as long as it's a game that I have or can get, you know, without spending money for the most part. Or without spending a ton of money. Yo, what's up, Plaky Cat? How you doing? Hey, pal, I got nothing but harpies and fucking feds. Oh, work. what was that? Did you get ultimate? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Holy fuck. Seto 1 BCD. Oh shit, boys. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. No way, World Record pays 80% and he does. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. <gasps> please, 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 I don't need to go, please, I'm quitting, I'm quitting, I'm not! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking, it. yeah, this is, this seed is pretty fucking easy. When you can find Megamorph, Bright Castle, and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon all in Egypt 1, that is, that's an, that's a baby mode seed right there. Because really, all we're missing at this point is Swords of Revealing Light. But, I mean, if you have three Ultimates, three Megamorph, three Bright Castle, that alone is going to be good. It, it would also be good to find, like, Regekis and Crush Cards, just in case, but we really aren't going to need that. Like, if we can find... I mean, if we find Swords at this point, then it's really over. We don't need anything else at that point. I mean, you can easily beat the game with three ultimates, three megamorphs on its own, but at that point, you're still only relying on three separate cards to be drawn, which is your ultimates. Um, so if you don't draw them, if you get unlucky, you can still definitely lose. So finding things like Gate Guardian, MBD, Pugum is still going to be somewhat important, but now that we have the biggest boy out of the way, um, it's not the most important anymore. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, oh my god, I just did an essay pal against Jono just to see what he gave because we both BCD'd ultimate yeah. and fucking widespread. Wow! <laughs> Two separate people drop ultimate. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Wow. And widespread though. So that makes him better than. Yeah, it, wait, so it's SA pal Jono? Yeah, SA pal. Then that's better because that's. Because BCD Seto takes longer. And doesn't have widespread. If you could just SA pow Jonah 1 and get widespread along with ultimate, holy fuck. I'm going to be killing um, Haishin 1, by the way. I'm going to SA pow right. him because I drew my ultimate. Yeah. Hell yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Holy shit. Baby mode seed, boys. Easy peasy lemon peasy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Stick my Winnie and a Snapple inflated get it stuck and now I have flesh left. Dude, second turn Haishin, he played Sangha. What the fuck? He started with Cosmo Queen and then played Sangha in defense, and I killed his Sangha with in defense with a regular stone D. <laughs> then he played Great Moth. Wow. What the fuck? Yeah, this is an essay. Holy shit, Plant Kit Kat with the $100 donation. Holy Money. fuck. Puts him in dead first for the donation drive. Holy fuck, dude. Blue Eyes Ulti Drago. Pog. Pog. Blue Eyes Ulti Drago Pog. Yeah, hell yeah. Holy fuck, Plant Kit Kat. The God returns yet again. Six nut. Let's fucking go, boys. Thank you so much, Plat Kit Kat. Plat Kit Kat is now number one for choosing one of the five things that I do during the 24 hour live stream, which will be happening next week, by the way, everybody. Thank you, Plat Kit Kat. Holy fuck! I also drew my <laughs> ultimate first turn, Marcus. Uh, I didn't get anything interesting against Haishin S. Pow, uh, except for Harpy's Pet Dragon and Dragon Capture Draw. That's kind of poopy. I'm just gonna BCD him because I have Regek in my hand as well. He. What? 
Okay, second turn, um, Jupiter in defense, and I have a Crimson Sunbird out on Mars, and he didn't attack it. Hot <laughs> pops. All right, I'm gonna finally die against this guy. What is this? Try to BCD him if you can. I am. He played Sen 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 on his second Sen turn. Sen 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 What the fuck? Apply Kit Kat, aka Mr. Beast alt account. Nice. If I was, I'd, I'd donate 10k and never be seen again. Yeah. He only played Jupiter. Alright, one fusion. And Regak, you played this should be BCD. Yep, that should be. One fusion and playing a magic. And having less than 28 left. That should be BCD. I got Magician to Black Chaos and Dungeon. One. Wow, Magician to Black Chaos is actually a good pull. Magician to Black Chaos is like one of the only cards under 3k that's actually like worthwhile in an endgame deck. Very true. Because it's powered up and it has a really good Guardian Star. It's literally a good version of fucking uh Twin Headed. Yeah. It's a and it takes it takes like a shit ton of equips just like Twin Headed does. Exactly. It I'm just sure it takes literally, literally every, every equip, equip in the game, right? No, it does. It doesn't take every equip in the game, but it takes a fuck ton of them. It takes a oh, fuck no, ton like of that. equips, twenty eight hundred attack, and has really good guardian stars. Like, it's just it's such a good card. Wouldn't it be nice if like the meta was like changed? Like instead of being twin headed, it was like magician of black chaos meta, and we just like that fuse was... that. <laughs> it would cut down the time of most speedruns like i'd say oh yeah hard one record would be way low what's the name of this mod this is just forbidden memories randomizer um so i y you take 15 card mod and then you run it through the fm scrambler tool which you can download um from the second paste bin when you type an exclamation point download you take 15 card mod and run it through the FM Scrambler tool. You put in whatever settings you want, and then you randomize it, patch the ISO, and there you go. No, two old buds. You cannot do that to make Pugum. It does not work. There is no fusion for Pugum, unfortunately. Still good at this video game. I can press buttons. Yeah, we're getting much closer to the dono goal thanks to Joe Nutson right there. Plat Kit Kat. Um, I'll have to look through and see who the top five are. But like I said, the top five donators by the time we actually do the 24 hour um, will be. We'll get to choose what I do during it. Um. Let me check and see who the top five are, because I don't actually know off the top of my head. Uh, I don't All think right, there's I'm a save in. I'll be right back. Okay. There's only been five people who've contributed so far. So... Black Kit Kat, number one. James Ferguson, number two, with $75. The Exalted One, number three. Number four is uh, Darkwind Graham. Graham. And wait, one. Black Kit Kat, two Exalted One. Two is, ex or yeah, one is Black Kit Kat, two is James Ferguson. Three is Dixon Deep. Four is Darkwing. And five is Smith. Nothing too good there. Alright, let's go back and grab the ultimates. Jonah won SA Pow has ultimate and um and widespread apparently. On SA Pow.
If you do exclamation point download in the chat, it will give you a link to a paste bin, right? And in that paste bin is a link to download the FM Scrambler tool. And you use the FM Scrambler tool to create your own randomizers. So if you click on the second link there that says to download any other FM mod, you go there. And then in that paste bin, there is a link to download FM Scrambler, okay? You use the scrambler tool to create your own randomizer. Now I'm using randomizer with 15 card drop. So I take the 15 card drop uh, dot bin file and I put that into FM scrambler and then I make whatever I want and then I patch the ISO and there you go. Another ultimate. How many Vermilion Sparrows did we just get in a row? One, two, three, four of them. Wow. But we got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Widespread Ruin. Holy fuck. Super was right, dude. That's two ultimates. Let's go, dude. Wow, <laughs> this seed is fucking loaded, dude. Loaded seed. And then we know Simon S.A. Pow has uh, Megamorph, so we'll go there after that. Unbelievable, dude. Kind of weird seeing a mystical sheep number one right next to a blue eyes ultimate dragon, but hey. Oh, gate guardian ritual, damn. Three is beast fangs, interesting. Invigoration, too, wow. Wow, there's a lot of equips there, actually. So, unfortunately, that's the ritual for Gate Guardian, not Gate Guardian itself. If it was Gate Guardian, that would have been really good. What's up, Bubs? How you doing, buddy? Who dropped Bright Castle? Um, Bright Castle was... BCD Villager 1 or something like that. I don't remember. Super won it. I didn't. So I don't actually know off the top of my head. I'll ask him when he's done with this shit. I gotta start wearing a belt. My pants are too big for me. Too big. Pants. Pants too big. Pants big. What? Hmm. No ultimates yet. Always fun to get trolled by an ultimate dragon drop. Oh, you gotta love it. The fucking tune alligators are coming in strong, boys. Strong. Dude, we just hit 100 viewers on YouTube? Hell yeah. That's what I like to see, lads. Right, Bobs? Love you. Did he just come out there? 
That's good. Yeah, a few more Vermilion Sparrows. That was kind of crazy, winning four of the exact same card in a row. Like, that is extremely rare for shit like that to happen. The Ankito drops there, that's interesting. Who dropped the Trihorn? I don't actually remember who dropped that. It doesn't really matter, though. I won't be farming for Trihorn. We only really want to farm for cards that are 3k or up. The only exceptions are like Magician of Black Chaos and Cosmo Queen, really. I'm back. Welcome back. What'd you find, bud? I haven't found anything new. I beat Rex SA Power, I didn't get anything, and then I went to farming Jono 1. My first duel on him was ultimate and widespread, just like you got. But since then, I haven't won my third ultimate yet. Damn. He drops, like, Beast Fangs, Invigoration. Uh, I got Dian Keto, Stop Defense. Nothing good, except for Ultimate and Widespread, it looks like. And I haven't won another one of either yet. Oh, I'm at two Ultimates and one Widespread right now. It's fucking good shit. Oh, yeah, I got Gate Guardian Ritual from him as well. Just the Ritual, though. Cock teased. How was the shit, brother? Uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm training my gut to be a gut again. And I'm hog champion. That's good. So you said you SA Power X gave dog shit? Yeah, dog shit. Okay. I'll attempt to BCB. Why not? There's my third ultimate. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it drops like candy at Jono SA Pow, dude. Like, holy f I did five duels to get all three. Well, I only got two in five duels because I got my other one from Set OBCD, but yeah. Goddamn good. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep going on uh, Simon. See if I can get like one more Megamorph. Oh yeah, he drops Dark Magician as well. Oh, nice. I have three of those now. Could I please draw my reggae so I can BCD? Please. Also, I find it blasphemous that giant hurdle, giant hurdle that feeds on flames doesn't count as a fire. Yeah, that is some bullshit. Doing good, Darkness Fairy. How about yourself? I took way too long to answer that, but hey, I answered it. I got Elegant Egotist and Millennium Shield. Poge? Chomp? I'm chomping on this sweet poger I have. Oh my god, he's chomping. Fuck, dude. Ooh, ooh, and boom. Hmm, no Megamorph on my first duel back to Simon. Hopefully it's Batman. not too rare. If it seems rare, then I'm just going to move on. Pray that I get more later. This is a random question, but what's the best card uh, Simon can play? The best card Simon can play? Uh, yeah. 
just out of his hand? I don't know. I think it's the head of Exodia, I want to say. Maybe? I know yeah, I know he has all five, so. It is Exodia head? Okay, yeah. Yeah, there is a fusion for Megamorph. It's DN Keto plus DN Keto. Which I have one DN Keto. Smile. Miles. Smile. It's not really worth putting in the DN Ketos, though. It would be worth... DN Keto would be actually worth it in this game. Like, if it was easy to get it in the normal game, which it's not. But even if it was easy to get in the normal game... It still wouldn't be very worth it. It would be if you could get your life points above 8,000, but you can't. It caps at 8k, which is dumb. Oh, wow. Okay, so Simon drops widespread as well, I guess. Interesting. I haven't gotten a single Mega Morph yet, and I did one duel. It sucks. <laughs> I haven't gotten another one yet. I still only have the one that I got on the first duel of the run. Quite cringe, won't lie. Quite cringe. I can move on without getting more if I have to, because ultimate is just infinitely better, but... But I would like to... If I can get, it, like, one more, then I'll move on. And then I'll just try to get the third later while I'm just going through the game. Because that usually seems to happen. You end up getting shit while you're just playing. Yeah. I don't, I don't doubt, doubt like, like Weevil's, Weevil's gonna drop every card. Every, one, so. <laughs> <laughs> every single card, three of each in one duel. Oh, an interesting thing that happened when I was farming Jono is that um, the first farm duel I did on him, I won four Vermilion Sparrow in a row. What the fuck? I thought my game was bugged at first and the drop wasn't changing, but then it finally went over to a different card. Oh! Also nice. I won Metal Zoa and Megamorph. He dropped Metal Zoa. Wow, okay. Probably out of 15. That's very good then. So, Metal Zoa, Megamorph, and Widespread. Yeah. That's pretty hot for one person. Especially someone as easy as Simon. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit. Isn't the randomizer way too easy? Yeah, it is very easy, usually. Even even when the drops, like, aren't all in Egypt one like this, it's still almost always very easy. But it's fun. That's the main point of it, is just that it's fun. You could make it harder if you really wanted to. Like, you can randomize the enemy decks so that they can play crazy shit against you. Um... But sometimes it's nice to just do one of these and just, you know, have fun finding all of the really powerful cards, figuring out where they drop, and then completely obliterating the game. It's not really a challenge run or anything. It's just a fun run. Sword Stalker and Kazajin. Damn. I'm still not... I did four duels on him now and I haven't gotten anything else. Jesus. Are you sure you're dueling Simon? Yeah. Check again. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm sure it is. Am I going to continue remastered? Yes. I get asked that once per stream that is not remastered. At least once. Most of the times more. But yes, I will continue it. I plan on doing a good bit of remaster during the 24-hour stream. I'm probably going to start the 24-hour stream off with remastered. I'll probably, like, beat the game, like, play through the whole thing.
There's a Mega Morph. Oh, we Ooh. got a Mega Morph on the same room. Very oh. nice. A double Mega Morph. Alright, I'm gonna do one more duel. See if I can get one more Mega Morph on it, but if not, I'm just moving on. What a what shit draw. Shit. I literally drew all my weakest cards in my first hand. Hmm. Attack it, bitch. Fuck you. You know, I've actually never had Sword Stalker in my hand before on the field. Huh. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's pretty damn rare to get it in a normal run. And even if you do get it in a normal run, there's really no reason to put it in your deck. Yeah. I'd say Sword Stalker is probably like. The least played card in the entire game. Yeah, it's really not played. Really only a Meadow Mage plays it. Yeah, for the most part. The only guy I can think of. I mean, and Kepara, I guess. Alright, I didn't get shot. Did I get another widespread there? I think I did. Did I? I kind of just... Yeah, I did. I got my third widespread. I have three tremendous fire now. Lol. Nice. Um, I got a shield. Pog. Pog shield. Pog shield. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna move on see what everyone else drops now. Three ultimates and two megamorphs is good enough for now. Nice. I don't know why this happens, but every time it's like around like 9 to 12 at night, I just constantly sneeze over and over like I'm huh. sick. It's kind of that is strange. Creepy. I'm dying. I have the fucking virus. Yeah, Millennium Shield is the best shield, but the best wall, we all know what that is, so. It's obviously Pog Wall. That's the best 3k anything ever. Praise be unto him. Praise it be one. Oh damn, well I hope you feel better, Exalted One. I know the feel, brother. Be rother. MOBC is a magician of black chaos. I won a widespread and uh like a few two K attackers. From who? Simon. Oh, yes. I have two widespread two, two mega wars right now. One ultimate. SA Pow Weevil has nothing. At least nothing I got. I really don't know why I'm saving. <laughs> so I played a Millennium Shield face down, and he played an Armored Rat, or a Bone Mouse, I mean. And mm -hmm. now I'm equipping the Millennium Shield with a Bright Cast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Making Saboom proud. Hell yeah. Clamps. Wait. I think I might have exact lethal with the Millennium Shield as the final attacker. Oh, now that is a Saboom move right there. 
Yes. Nice. This is a Yeah, I got my third widespread and mega morph. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fucking shield strats. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. All I need now is three, uh, three, three ultimates. ultimates. I need two more, and then I'll just go through the game. Easy. Holy shit. That's awesome. Nothing on my except for spellbinding and trihorn. Unless you're super mature, you have to say thanks. Yeah, opening with two ultimate dragons is always quite nice. Yeah, I'm playing on an emulator currently. Rush card from Keith SA. Nice. That's good. That's really good. Dude. Yeah, we needed to find. Well, we didn't need to find, but it's good to find at least for Gekki or Crush. So Keith SA will be Crush. Pretty much at this point, just looking for like swords and gate guardian. That would be the two big boys at this stage. Swords yeah. would be the biggest by far. If we find swords, then it's game over. There seems to be a lot of 2200s just being dropped, like Brachio yeah. and the name I can't pronounce, Dragon. And then Great Mammoth. Yeah. I got Is Zoom Alligator in my second ultimate. Nice. No, there's no record with randomizer. It's not it's not really a speed running category. That's like kept track of or anything like that. Damn, what a draw. Ultimate Megamorph crush card. Jesus. Nice. nice. Play the, the ultimate face down. That's what I did. He didn't attack it. What a little bitch. I'm gonna crush well, card him. No, I'm not. I'll crush card him next turn though. Well, actually, no, I won't crush card him next turn. Because it won't do anything because it's shoddy. He's not gonna play a 1500. I'm crushing a card over here. Hey. Walking down the boulevard, crushing the pavement with my boys. My big stinky feet. <laughs> Hardest mod that I've played? Uh. That was enjoyable? Probably FM Reimagined, I guess. Wow, I gotta. I think Shoddy has the worst drop list we've seen so far. It almost looked like vanilla drops, like it was that bad. That's insane.
Pokemon game. Just give me my ultimate. Yeah, it took me a while to get three ultimates from him. Yeah, this looks almost like... Wow, this looks almost like <laughs> vanilla. Air Marmot, Ganon, Electric Snake, Troll Bird, Rock Ogre Grotto, Uguchi, Basic Insect, Fucking Aqua Snake, no, Grappler, me. Gate Deeg. Yeah. It was bad. That's literally like vanilla. Jesus. <laughs> the exalted one with the $10 donation, dude. Fucking Pogue Chump. Ten dollar donation received from Let's hear the, the message. One. This guy fucks. This guy fucks. Hell yeah, dude. This guy does indeed foach. I believe is the correct medical term. Thank you, Exalted. I really appreciate the, the support, my guy. Hell yeah. Nut, nut. Nut, 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 nut. There's a five nut. Easy peasy. I just got a bunch of weird cards from Jono. I got harpies. Yeah, just normal harpies. Beast Fang. Royal Guard Dying Ghetto. He drops. A, he, Beast Fangs has to be a pretty high drop rate. Because I have like four or five Beast Fangs that I got when I was farming Jono. Jeez. Yeah. He also drops Invigoration. I always get yeah, hyped yeah. when I see them, but they're not really that helpful in like this mod. The only the only card that's really gonna help us like that much other than Megamorph and Bright Castle is gonna be Dragon Treasure. I think I just one turn. Dude Pog. Yeah, Magician of Black Chaos is literally twin headed but better. I think I'm 500 off. No, I'm 300 off. God damn it. Damn, that. <laughs> Bakura is also a really bad essay. He had like Garvis, Garvis and Flame Serb, but other than that, it was like really bad drops again. Alright, I am going to save before Pegasus, only because I haven't saved in a long time, and I can definitely see a world. Where I he plays MBD and I don't draw anything. I can I can visualize that world very well. Maybe we're living in that world. Let's find out. The super stream. Yes no. Super streams not often, honestly. I don't think he's streaming right now. Are you streaming? Uh, I haven't streamed in a while. I'm streaming. Yeah. I usually only stream when I'm in a good. I fused a twin headed, let's go. Thunder Dragon and Harpy's Pet Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Does somebody, Does somebody wanna, wanna, wanna watch, watch me stream poggers? No. Yeah. Let me bend over and write your name on the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where you got that ass screenshot of me. Yes, I think. Yeah. I remember the exact <laughs> moment because we were making fun of women as per usual, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I, you, we were fucking around back and forth. And you're like, oh my god, super moist with the, the one dollar donation. Let me get over here. Let me just bend over. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember losing. I remember that, that dude. That fat ass screenshot, dude. <laughs> god damn. I got a Sin Engine and an nice. Exodia the Forbidden from Pegasus. So pretty Are much nothing forbidden? except for Sin Engine. I got a Tau the Chanter, which is definitely a card you don't see often. That's one of those cards that like you could legitimately forget that it's in the game. What is the attack of that anyway? Tau the Chanter. Remember, kids. Exodia may be forbidden, but so is sex before marriage. Don't do it. I'll Very I'll true. Very true. Yeah. I don't. I, I. I would hate to see myself go to hell and burn for all eternity. So, yeah.
Choose your story, people. 72 virgins or hell. It's true. Option is real easy for me, I'll tell you that much. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Very oh, good stuff. Give me my fucking old Chimite dragon. Goomy rat. Goombai jelly. G like Goombai. G like Candy. You like it, I might. Rat the tat tat. Rat the tat tat. Rat the tat tat. Dude, the rat tat tat got me my third ultimate. Yeah, dude. Blue eye, old Thai dry guy. From Jonah. Oh, fuck, dude. I remember I, when I was doing my Dark Souls 3 playthrough, I had that shit stuck in my head, and I just kept fucking quoting that during the playthrough. That playthrough is, like, tainted forever now. Wait, what? Jono dropped by for the forgot. Yeah, yeah. You're the one who told me that. Fuck you. I didn't tell you shit. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Uh. Hold on, I'll bring her back in, like, two minutes. I have a little friend. Okay. Oh, blue eyes, white dragon. Nice. That's better than winning an ultimate because I already have three of them. So hell yeah. So now we have blue eyes, ultimate dragon and blue eyes, white dragon. Let's go. Let's go, dude. All right. So Isis SA pal. We'll have to remember that now. There it is, boys. Easy clap. Nah. Blue eyes isn't really going to be worth farming, at least not regular blue eyes. But we'll see. It depends. If I don't get anything better for a long time, then it might be worth it. Still going to be looking for the 3500s and Gate Guardian. Bad draws, dude. Lol. Dude, double blue eyes. Wow. Gotta say, Blue Eyes is actually bailing me out right about now, dude. Damn, I wish he played three. It would have been more epic. I'm back. I am ecstatic, Mark. Do you know why? Why? I, uh, I learned recently that uh, apparently I've been getting console stones for a while now. Oh, well, that sucks. And I just got a big fucker out. Well, not really a big fucker, but one that's been like, in there. I won regular blue eyes, by the way. Nice. From Isis, SA pal. Oh, yeah. Fuck. My up button isn't working. What? Hold on, let me start my stream. Your stream? Oh. All right now it's working, dude. My what the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, my my breath feels a lot fresher now. Nice. Uh, like unironically, my no more come lump. Really cold. <laughs> it was keeping your throat warm in the winter. <laughs> hey, little coat. It looked like I didn't really take care of it my whole life. A because when I was like young, I didn't know what a fucking tonsil stone was, so I thought it was just food. And yeah. yes, it is, but you know. So I've been getting them my entire life, but they just fall out. Like they literally come out with time. For me. 
Oh, but God. these ones aren't. But uh, this one looks small. And I knew it was a tonsil stump, so I didn't really take care of it because I thought I pushed both of it out. But uh, you know, I kept going, and it was like a, a good size of like half of a peanut. So. That's fun, dude. Not gonna lie. Well, not like a, a peanut shell. Like Hang on, I'm gonna go say hi to Bubs. Hope you enjoy my tonsil stone smile. Actually, I'm gonna be Okay, I'm back, sorry. Oh, Marcus isn't, nice. Oh, fuck.
Um, <laughs> you dumbass dumb bitch. bitch. Please attack, attack my guy. Oh. Yes, yes, I am I here. here. Hello. Hello. Smile. <laughs> what is it you need, Mr. Joe? Um, I stream on Twitch and sometimes YouTube, but I moved to Twitch recently. So Twitch. But I haven't streamed in like a like a week or two. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Ow, my foot. What's up boys? Dude. I played I with Bugs bigger, a bit. Dude. Nice. Did I miss anything cool? Uh, nope. Reap, dude. Yeah, what's up, GG? You look good today, Juicy. How you doing? Thank you, Kimmy Onion. I'm doing good, my brother. Where are you at now? Uh, somebody. somebody. I don't remember. Probably Keith. Keith. I don't fucking know. I'm tired. Oh, also, my up button's not working again. So, beer. Okay. Bubs, you just wanna play. I know. I'll play with you more soon, okay? Okay, buddy? Look at mom calling you. Go see what mom wants. He went into the bathroom. <laughs> to explore, I'm guessing. What's mom want? Go see mom. Maybe give him one of the, like, uh, meaty things. Harold? Yeah. Harold loves. He's coming. Oh, I got another Blue Eyes White Dragon. From right. Mage Soldier, essay. Pretty pose, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What am I doing next? So after this run is over, I'm going to start a new stream. And in that stream, I'm going to be opening up a bunch of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I was sent um, by Jake Rigby, who is the owner of a card shop who sent me a bunch of stuff, including a uh, Blazing Vortex booster box, um, another box that it, I think it's called like Yu-Gi-Oh Gold. It has like these gold packs in them. It looks really cool. And then there's also a structure deck for, I think it's a brand new, uh, like a newly released structure deck that's like ice themed. So we'll be opening up those three things once this run is over.
Yeah, maximum gold and ice barriers. That's it. Isn't maximum gold a really good set? I think so. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really look into it too much. I'm pretty sure it's your gold barriers are with a good chunk. Got a double crit in D and D. Nice, Gigi. Good shit, brother. Cocoon of evolution. Putting that in. After I'm done opening up the cards, I'm gonna be done streaming for the night. After that, I'm probably just gonna play some Binding of Isaac uh, co-op with Super for a little while, and then go to bed because I got some shit to do tomorrow. There's still going to be a stream tomorrow, though, no matter what, so don't worry about that one. Doing a 15-card run tomorrow, 4 p.m. EST. I was wondering if you want to join. Nah, Liam, I'm probably not going to be around at 4 p.m. Well, no, I'm definitely not going to be around at 4 p.m. Hanging out with my brother tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to be around. I'm, I'm pro I'll probably not be around until a little bit later in the night. Either a little bit later into the night or earlier into the day. I don't know how long we're going to be hanging out for. I just got three, three flame servers this in a row against Shadi. Oh, I have to stream. I don't know when tomorrow's stream is going to be. It will be at some point. I'm just not sure when. It honestly depends on when I get to bed tonight and when I wake up tomorrow and when I actually feel like streaming tomorrow. It's either going to be earlier in the day, like 11 a.m. or noon EST, or it's going to be later in the day, like 8, 9, maybe even 10 p.m. EST. It'll very likely be one or the other. Oh, what's on? What am I playing tomorrow? Um, probably just more FM. Speaking of Twitch, could you help me with something after the stream, Marcus? Yeah. Thank you. No, I haven't done anything with retro achievements. I've seen a lot of other people do stuff with it. It looks like it'd be a lot of fun. So at some point I might do retro treat achievement things. Alundra 2 has retro achievements. Nice, dude. That was so fucking funny. I'm fucking coming in my pants. The pants have been cummed in. Yikes. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Do you that's I mean it might give me onion. Some people are really obsessed with retro achievements. From what I've seen, so it definitely might. What are retro achievements? Um, it's like a, it's like, I, I, I don't. It, it adds achievements to like old games that you play on like emulators and shit. Oh. Yeah. There's even a retro achievements for FM. I think. Win cards. Win other cards. Yeah. I drew two Megamorphs and a Metal Zoe against Peggy. Now he's gonna play a MIDI. That would be pretty fucking epic. Three, two, 
Oh my god, he played a sad hand. Yeah. I drew another Mega Lord. I'm just gonna put that on my thing. I know uh, Plat Kicket. I actually saw. I actually looked up um, one of the. Yeah, I saw the golden blue eyes white dragon that's in the gold set. It looks really fucking nice. It has like it's like the original art and all that. I would love to pick up one of those suckers tonight. Well, I'm not really interested in the retro achievements for FM. I saw I saw somebody on my Twitter timeline who was working on them. I think it might have been who was it? Dan the Enigma maybe. I don't know. Sorry. Might have been. Bubs went to the bathroom, yeah! Go, Bubs, hey, go! Jerry. He's running around now. <laughs> As he does. Not a lot of good drops, I won't turn them. Even worse so far in mages. Fucking trash everywhere. I haven't gotten anything good so far. Guess it's just gonna be these stupid fucks. Probably. I mean, I'm hoping that eventually somebody drops the swords, but. Yeah. I mean, maybe someone will when you go through. Maybe I just got unlucky on somebody. Did you want to save Pal Kaiba? I think I. No, I BCD'd him. Okay. What a draw. Funny that low ocean mage dropped a lot of Karyushins. Ooh, Bubba took a shit on that one. Bubba's logs. Pog <laughs> Definitely Bubba's logs. Dude, he took a steamy shit, ran around the house for like a minute, and now he is up on his perch, happily laying down. If that ain't the most Bubba thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. I feel like every cat has like a ritual for when they take a shit. Oh yeah. God, that's a what? bad smelly shit, dude. Jesus H. Christ. Whatever mine takes a oh, stinky God, stinker. Bubba. What they do is they, um, they spend like five and a half minutes to ten minutes just like wiping their hands on my wall and the litter box. <laughs> It's funny as shit, yeah, and it's also it's really, really annoying. Because then I like, like tap on the wall, and they come up screaming in my ear. <laughs> oh my god, that is one hell of a shit, bubs. 
Can you smell it? Texture. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's what we like to see. No, I do not play Duel Links. Choose all 10 Guardian Stars throughout the course of a single duel. Have the same monster. Occupy every monster card zone on your side of the field. Just seems like the FM bingo ideas that we had years ago. At least some of the better ones. Nothing from a safe house. Did you get a, an email from Shadow, by the way? I forgot to ask you. No, I don't think I have. I'll have to check to be sure, but... I don't think I... I don't remember ever seeing one. I just want surround sound with Tarkov. <laughs> Mages, or old mage soldier, and then mages. Did you duel Geno too in Tana? No. I'll do those for you. We got the hungry burger boys. Let's go. Oh, meteor dragon. Oh, fuck you, game. You got the burger, and you got the meat. Hello? Yeah, dude. I mean, we're... Honestly, we're, we're in there. Fuse him and make a McDouble. Dumbass. <laughs> I won uh, McDouble. Copyright symbol. <laughs> TM. <laughs> Pog? Hi, it's me, Ronald McDonald, and I have partnered with Konami to make <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Burger Memories. Oh, okay, a hundred life points off. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> I won Tryhorn. Nice. Be warned, I'm good. Marcus. What? Just a little heads up to you. Yeah. Good to set our looks, you know. What'd you get? What? Nothing. What did you get? Tell me. No, 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 I'll tell you when I actually beat her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you haven't beaten her yet? I'm on the duel. I played a wall shadow and beat her. She's definitely gonna be good though, we know it. Has to be. Has to. You just miss <laughs> Andy Tayana. Tayana come dumpster herself. <laughs> the hole.
Welcome, Ezekiel. I'm digging Fuck the all you. caps. Hello, Rocky. What's poppin'? Dark piercing light. Song. I think I have all the pieces of Gate Guardian now. Make a Gate Guardian, baby. <laughs> now we can get these. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Tryhorn and guilty. <laughs> nice. I have not, Rocky. Not sure what that is. Uh, the only Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that I've watched is the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I haven't watched anything else. I don't really have much of an interest in any other of the animes. Blue Eyes from <laughs> Normal Mage Soldier. Not the special I, one. It's my nice. Name. I think that's where I got one of my Blue Eyes from. Yeah, I think I remember you saying something about it. Yeah, I'm okay, Norik. I am a little bit tired, but I'm okay overall. Feeling good because I just got a medal, Zoa. Let's go. I won't lie, I am also a little sleepy. Yeah, Metal Zoa from Simon. What a good game. If only it was always like that. Wow. What a fast fucking duel, Jesus Christ. Wow. Two met two more Metal Zoas there. Jesus. That's all three of them. Right, right. Pretty cool. Hi, Bubs.
<laughs> late hundo ass looking hands. Yeah. Honestly, that is exactly what these hands look like at this point. Just looks like a very late hundo. Yo, what's up, TJ? How you doing? Oh, there we go. Drop 15 Megamorph. Right when I thought I wasn't going to get anything that duel. Boom, bitch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Poopy, Poopy and shitty. And party. Oh Everyone. yeah, absolutely. I would say all three, definitely. All three. Mm-hmm. Can't have one without the other. Yeah, dude. Mm, got mm, to love practical and, and spirit of the piss from Metal Mage. Cool yeah. Drops. What other Yu-Gi-Oh video games have I played? Um, that I've actually played all the way through. It would be this one, Duels of the Roses, and Falsebound Kingdom. That's really the only three games that I've played all the way through. I played a little bit of Sacred Cards. Wasn't really a big fan of it, and that's pretty much it. Hell yeah. I win. Garma Sword Bright Castle wow. widespread and he plays a magic face down. So Labyrinth Mage just opened with a monster tamer. What the fuck? What are the Wow What? I just yeah. realized what you just said. Yeah. I literally Like what, what the fuck? I don't think I've what? ever seen that before. I'm gonna open T and check the odds of that clock. What the fuck? It's a 20, it's about half as common as Gate Guardian, it's a 24. There's all, but there's a fuck ton of cards that are 24s. Like That's Emperor, insane. Emperor of the Land and Sea, Thunder Dragon. The odds of that being the strongest card he has in like the 15 hand size he has is just insane. It's so unbelievably low, yeah. Like I, <laughs> I, 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 I've never seen it happen in my life. That's like one in like 10,000 at least, dude. Jesus Holy Christ, shit. dude. Can we send that to someone and just get. <laughs> Holy shit. It keeps just sending in how rare that is. Yeah, like I, I, I've. I've never seen it, and I've done a lot of Labyrinth Mage over the years. Christ. Like at this point, seeing something that I've not ever seen before, like it's not just not happened to me. I've not seen that happen to anybody. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I've done those strats before too, old buds. Usually when I'm doing uh, no twin headed thunder dragon allowed runs. Ultimate third on Mountain Mage. Nice. Nice. Gotta love it. He fused to an headed. No. Oh, he didn't attack into me. What a bitch. I got two Hain Hains and a Gate Guardian. Ooh, 
Kamuga. Mm-hmm. But it's on Neku. So. Uh, <laughs> Rip. At least we're not we're not gonna be able to farm for it. I guess that's where the fucking big boy is. Fucking waits until Neku to drop. But there it is, boys, Gate Guardian. That's epic, dude. The only other like actual big big boy that we found. And it's in the oh. final six. The hmm. only fucking I just found ultimate, ultimate on Low Mountain. Wow. <laughs> wow. Fucking that's so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Alright, once you beat, um, uh, there's no point in finishing once you're done, because you're gonna open cards. Yeah, pretty much. Do you want to Unless you want to, of course. Cards, or... Yeah, I'll be in a call while I open. Sweet. I'll be your little gremlin that checks all the prices. Hell yeah, I usually have the prices open on my second monitor, just in case. At least the bit, the high value ones, because most of the cards I'm gonna pull are gonna be, like, not even worth looking at. God damn it, why did I have another Garma Sword to attack? Oh my god. She made me with the 3700 attack. Oh my god. She made me's been balling since day one. <laughs> Uh, Moon, the the dot bin files that you download will work on any emulator. It doesn't matter if it's PC or Android or whatever. Any P any PlayStation One emulator is gonna run dot bin files. So yeah, that's moving along to old buds. When I have more information on that, I'll let everybody know. Mm, that's a good opener, but that's not enough. What the fuck? What? Mega Morph, right? And yeah. Ultimate from High Mountain. Essay pal, I quit. From High Mountain? From High Mountain. Wow, dude, that's fucking insane. It's the only good cards that have been dropped: Castle, <laughs> Mega Morph, and Ultimate. And they seem to drop on everyone, yeah. <laughs> we haven't found swords. We haven't found dragon treasure. We haven't found Regeki. We haven't found Gate Guardian. We haven't found MBD. We haven't found Pugum. Fuck me, dude. It's kind of insane how we like we find like the two most important cards. I well, not really. I would rather swords than Megamorph, honestly. I would rather like would. swords and Regeki. Like that combination and no Megamorph. Yeah. But still, that's, that's fucking so stupid. Yeah, it is. I'm truly living. <laughs> I'd give a better reaction, reaction, but I'm tired of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up, DWI? Attack into me with a powered up turtle, please. What well, thunder dragon? 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Yet again. Yeah, you can definitely do randomizers without farming. You just have to get really good luck in campaign. I'm not going to do that, but you could definitely do it. If we're talking about randomizer, that is. If you're talking about just regular FM, you can definitely do that too. But that would be like that would be like a world record run for 15 card mod. The world record runs pretty much don't do any farming, so That's funny. I always <laughs> drop the machine conversion factory. Nice, I win. Nice. I got Slightmare? Yeah, I just opened on him with ultimate. Nice. And crush card. Close the he played ultimate. ultimate. I'm just gonna wait until he's done playing ultimates and then I'm gonna crush card him. He doesn't have any magic. my brother. That was a very nice, fun. Haha. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it was a regular blue eyes. Well, never mind then. Oh. What is that run, dude? I you know. Monster tape restart and then blue eyes? Blue eyes against Nightmare, yeah. Wow. Like regular blue eyes. That's insane. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then he went up to ultimate. That's funny. It doesn't matter because I suicided my ultimate and then hit him with Gate Guardian to finish it off. Nice. 146. Dude, 146, but the it's 59.99. <laughs> Almost a 147, but not quite. It is 146.59.99. Watch me win swords here. That would be epic. No, I won nothing. It was one of the worst drop pools in the game. <laughs> check the, um, the, the, the drop. The spoiler. Yeah. yeah. The spoiler. Let me check it. <clears throat> what, what do we want to look for? Like swords, I'm guessing? Yeah, like swords and mid Gate Guardian. Uh, Kenny, in the randomizer, I just loaded in a, f a regular 15 card mod, um, like, bin file. Because when you're in the randomizer, it asks you to put in, like, a, like an ISO or a bin file, like, as the base game. And you can put in, the, like, base 15 card mod into it, and then randomize from there, which is what I do. All right, let me check the spoiler log and see where some of this shit was. Well, the first card that I see on the list is Swords of Revealing Light from Simon Moran, SA Tech. Uh, let me see here. Epic. Oh, Duel Master K had Swords of Revealing Light. <laughs> SA Pal. <laughs> We're so dumb. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, he had swords at a 35 on SA, pal. 
spot. I'm not gonna That's check it if we're not really like struggling. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Let's see who else dropped it. Um. Let's see here. Uh, Martis BCD had it as well. How the fuck would you ever? Also had Dragon Treasure on BCD. He had Dragon Treasure, Swords of Revealing Light, Red Eyes. Uh, that's really it for him. Oh, wow. Ocean Mage, low Ocean Mage, SA Pow had a 51 chance for swords. Wow. Huge chance right there. I'm surprised neither of us got that. I'm livid. That is a huge chance. Like, that's insane out of two duels that one of them wouldn't drop. That should have been easy to win it there. Like, dummy easy, dude. It's insane. And he dropped Pugum too on SA. So he dropped dropped Pugum, Swords, Metal Zoa. Wow. Uh, let's That's see what cool. else had it. Seto One BCD had it. Seto One BCD, which is where I won my ultimate, had a fifty-seven chance for ultimate. So, oh, huge geez. chance there. We just didn't know who had the higher chance. Um, let's see what else he had on BCD. He had swords, obviously. That was a 22. He also had Metal Zoa on SA Pow at a huge chance. Like, huge, huge. Um, he also had Dragon Treasure on SA Pal and MBD on SA Pal. Okay, and that's that's everyone for swords at least. Now let's look for Gate Guardian. I'm really interesting and in, interested with that. What if I told you that? Not only Swords of Revealing Light, but also Gate Guardian was Duel Master KS safe. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I'm not. And Gate Guardian dropped at a huge rate. It was a 50 on SA Pow. So Swords was a 35 and Gate Guardian was a 50. Dude, Duel Master oh, K was the key all along. <laughs> it's so funny because somebody brought that up too. <laughs> We're like, nah, we don't fight him unless we really need to. And he had everything. Well, not everything, but fucking Gate Guardian and Swords. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's just plain outright funny. Uh, let's see here. Who else dropped Gate Guardian? Guardian. Oh, Neku SA dropped it, which is where I won mine. Um, Kapura BCD had Gate Guardian. That actually makes sense. Kapura BCD Gate Guardian at a 56. He also had Skull Knight. Regular Meteor Dragon. He had Bright Castle as well. And MBD. So he had Gate Guardian, MBD, and Bright Castle. All on BCD Kapura. Damn. Fucking dumb E, dude. And that is everybody for Gate Guardian, I think. Uh, wait, might not be it. Let me check in. Haishin 1 SA Pow had Gate Guardian. I SA Powed him too, and I didn't get it. It wasn't at a huge rate, it was a 39, which is still pretty good. Um, Villager 3, SA Pow, had Gate Guardian, and Dragon Treasure, both at 33s. Damn. Villager 1, BCD, had Gate Guardian, but it was a 29. 
And that's everybody for Gate Guardian. That's so insane, dude. I can't believe that. <laughs> It's, I can't believe we missed some of this stuff. It seems like a lot of it was either Duel Master K or it was on like BCD on people who we didn't BCD. Honestly. Yep. That's insane. All right, boys, I'm going to open up some cards now. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to stop the stream. I'm just going to keep it going and change the titles. I don't really care. So let me change the titles really quick and then we're going to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That sound good, lads? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. good. Oh, well actually before I open them I should probably uh See if Jake is around. I don't really want to open them without him being here, unless he says it's okay, too. That'd be cool. To have the, the man, man with the legend. legend. Nothing that I saw Domesday. No, I didn't see anything at an, at any absurdly high or low rates. Um, when you set up the randomizer, it you can actually set what the highest and lowest possible drop chance is. Granted, some cards do go outside of the range that you set in order for everything to properly add up to 2048. Um, but for the most part, nothing goes like super out of it. Not enough for there to be a 1 or like a 255 or something. Columbus Cards and Games, by the way, chat, is um, the card shop that sent me all this stuff. So if any of you guys want to buy any Yu-Gi-Oh cards or if you want to buy any other types of cards, um, I would recommend Columbus Cards and Games. Um, they sell cards, obviously, in uh, Columbus, Georgia, but they also sell them online as well and at quite good prices. So I would highly... And it's a member of the community, Jake Rigby. He's been a member of the community for a long time. So if you guys buy cards, if it's Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic cards, lots of different cards, I'd recommend checking out the Facebook page for Columbus Cards and Games and purchasing your shit there. Because he was generous enough, just as a viewer, to send a bunch of cards over my way. Not as like a sponsored thing or anything, but just he just wanted to send me cards because he wanted to. It, I didn't even know he had a card shop until after he said he wanted to send me shit. So... It's not. It wasn't even for that. He's just a really cool member of the community who owns a card shop who wanted to send me shit just for fun, and he did, but I'll be damned if somebody is going to go out of their way to send me like $100 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh shit, and I'm not going to shout out their shop where they legitimately have good prices, so like supporting them back, you know, and I think that y'all should support them as well. Bubs is here, lads. We have obtained a Bubba's. Hit us with the y'all. Y'all? Y'all. Um, yeah, the, yeah, so he sent me a, a structured deck, the Freezing Chains one that came out, I think, on the 19th of Feb. 
and he also sent me a blazing vortex booster box and then a maximum gold box as well so very hype i have it in the other room currently What's up, Paps? Hi, babes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, that was loud. That scared me. No. So he said, if you want to do it, if you want to do it now, it's fine. Or if you want to wait like 30 minutes or so, I should be home. I just left the shop and I'm driving home. Hmm, okay. I think we can at least get some of it started, at least. Only because it's almost 11 p.m., and I either kind of want to do it now or another day. And I'd probably rather do it now, because it is going to take a little bit to get through all the, all the good shit. Let me grab the stuff and I'll bring it in. Okay, so I got all the shit right here. Let me get the titles changed and all that. this one up there we go title should be changed everywhere now I do I say I do believe yep there we go yeah we have some pretty cool shit here stuff and get some of my um my uh soft cases ready and whatnot Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get started here. So let me um, go over here, I think it is. There should be good enough, yeah. Up like that, make sure. Cool. Get everything up properly. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, grab a card. Grab a twin headed. We'll use our twin headed to properly focus up our camera really quick. Let me get the camera focused really quick. That should be good enough. All right, cool. So we have that. No, I'm gonna get started now. We're gonna we're gonna get started with the new structure deck that just came out. This is the Freezing Chains structure deck that just recently came out. I think on the 19th of February. Um, now, just a reminder: this was sent to me by Columbus Cards and Games in Columbus, Georgia. Um, I will have a link posted in chat periodically to their Facebook page. I would highly, highly, highly recommend if you guys have any card purchasing needs to head over there, like them on Facebook, and buy your cards from them. You don't, you, you can buy them online as well. You don't just have to buy them in person. And um, in about a half hour, Jake will actually be in chat as well to answer any questions you guys might have. So I'll just occasionally be putting that, um, be putting that into, uh, into chat for everybody. So yeah, this is the first thing that was sent to me. The, uh, structure deck for freezing change. Like, like I said, it was just, uh, released. Uh, so let's see what this has in it. What cards we got. I did not really check the card list, but I am pretty hyped for it. Let's try not to destroy the box, maybe. like to not completely destroy the box at least I don't care that much but I care a tiny bit side so the first thing that we have I believe is a playing mat I want to say so let's take a look at that or something like that yeah it's a nice big structure deck freezing chains looks really good it's hard to get the whole thing in the camera I already have the camera focus so yeah uh, and then on the back it talks about, I'm guessing, how to properly play the deck on the back here. Pretty cool. And then we have the actual deck itself in here, which is the most hyped thing, of course. So here is the actual deck itself right here, beginner's guide at the top, and then we got some cards back there. So let's get this cracked open, and we'll go through the cards that we have in this here deck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, before I do that, I should probably post an announcement that I'm doing this. That would be very, very smart to do, I'd reckon. It's called the uh, Freezing Chains.
go. Got the announcement. Let's send that. And let me go to Twitter and put that there as well. Just so everybody knows what we're doing here. Great. All right. So now that that's done, let's get into this here structure deck of Freezing Chains. Like I said, this is brand new, just released. I'm pretty pog right now to have this. Um, let's get it cracked open if I can without fucking destroying the cards. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get a grip on the piece of plastic here. Of course, it's the one, the, the, the day where I cut my nails, I trimmed my nails like a few hours ago is the day that I wish I had them just a tiny bit longer. There we go. Now we have it, for real this time. There we go. All right. So we have, first off is just this little fucker here. Structure deck, freezing chains. Scan here to learn the basics, beginner's guide. And then on the back, an advertisement for Blazing Vortex, which we will be opening a full booster box of last. That'll be the third thing that we do. We have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution here with some really shitty deviant art of Yu-Gi, whatever the fuck that garbage is. And, uh... Shit going on there that nobody cares about more advertisements. We have a Duel Links advertisement card thing that I don't give a shit about. And then we have the actual stuff that people give a shit about. So I believe it's gonna start off with the most rare cards first. Oh yeah, definitely. So first off, we have Revealer of the Ice Barrier. This is an ultra rare. Look at that. Look at how good that looks. Look at the hollow on that. With the with the swirls and the stars. Oof. That is a nice looking card right there. Very nice. Beaker for the Ice Barriers. This is another ultra rare here. I really like the background of the hollow on this one. Very good looking art, all very thematic. We have uh, Zuijin of the Ice Barrier Ultra Rare. Very colorful hollow. Digging it a lot here. Nice that I just have all of these now. <laughs> uh, Winds Over the Ice Barrier, another Ultra Rare that we have. Very nice looking card. Not the best hollow on this one, honestly. But overall, still really good looking art. Ooh, look at that sucker. What is that? Trishula Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Ooh, baby. Baby, that is an ultra rare that I am happy to have. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, that's nice looking. Damn, dude. Next up, Dulorn, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. Still on the ultra rares. Lots of ultra rares and really good looking ones at that. Rionak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Another super good looking one. Ooh, baby. So we're on the uh, super rares now. Oh, look at this one. This one is much more red than the other ones were. Like red and blue. I like. I love the color scheme on that. Look at how good that looks. Jesus Christ, that looks good. Gula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Very nice. Now I think we're just on to, um, yeah, we're just on to commons, so we'll blow through this a little bit quicker here. General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. Hexa Spirit of the Ice Barrier. Cute. 
Very cute art on that one. I like that one a lot. Blizzed. Defender of the Ice Barrier. Got a lot of Defenders of the Ice Barrier, I would say, here. Bryomancer of the Ice Barrier. Everything is of the Ice Barrier. The fucking Ice Barrier, boys. Briar of the Ice Barrier. Look at him. I wouldn't trust him with my children. Defender of the Ice Barrier. Oh, we're defending it yet again. That is a fire and as a Todoroki fox, if I've ever seen one. Warlock of the Ice Barrier. All right. Spellbreaker of the Ice Barrier. Strategist of the Ice Bra Barrier. Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. Yeah, you know, you need your defenders, your strategist, your spellbreaker, and your dance princess. You know, that's everything a good army needs. Dai Sojo of the Ice Barrier. General Raiho of the Ice Barrier. Medium of the Ice Barrier. She is summoning some anal beads, it looks like. That's good. Need those. Uh, General Gantala of the Ice Barrier. That is a hand made for fisting, if I'm being quite honest with you. General Grunard of the Ice Barrier. That's a Chad. Dude, Gen X Controller. Look at that, dude. That is like Wally if he used heroin for a couple years. Dude, that is like... Okay, so do you guys know like that Faces of Meth like campaign ad like against meth? This is like the faces of meth, but for Wally. -E. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. This is Wally -E after he did too much meth for a couple of years. Lost, you know, lost all of his teeth. He rusted. He has beady fucking eyes, dude. That is just scary. And I think that's also the first fucking card that doesn't have the words of the ice barrier in it. So that's always nice. Uh, Gen X Undyne from Undertale. Very nice. Aqua Spirit. That is illegal. Um, dupe Frog. Dude, that, that that frog be duping. That frog be walking down the boulevard, bamboozling and duping anyone in his path. Hell yeah. He invented the question mark. I don't know if you guys knew that. Ronan Toten. All right. Fishborg Launcher. I don't know what the fuck is inside of this orb right here. I don't think I want to know what's inside of that orb right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip past that one. That. Silent Angler. Does not look silent. Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Oh good, we're back to the of the Ice Barrier. I missed it. I truly did. Magic Triangle. Is it really a Yu-Gi-Oh card if it's not about the Ice Barrier, Marcus? I don't think so, honestly. Like, Blue Eyes White Dragon of the Ice Barrier? That would have been a much better card name. I don't know, man. Meteor B Dragon of the Ice Barrier? I think they should have named it Yu-Gi-Oh Forbidden Memories of the Ice Barrier, if I'm being honest with you. Medallion of the Ice Barrier? Dude, that's anal beads. I don't care what anybody says. That's anal beads. That is anal beads that used to be made of ice. But after they were shoved in someone's ass, they heated up, and that's why they're steaming red right now. That's just anal beads. I don't care what anybody tells me. Mirror of the Ice Barrier. Okay, that looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Salvage. Just salvage. All right. Surface. Just surface. All right. Where art thou? It's where art thou, but there's a dog, so it's arf, because dogs go arf, arf, chat. Creative. I think I remember seeing this card a long time ago. A pointer of the red lotus. Look at him, dude. That is one of the boys. That is one of the boys. Like, let's be real here. That's a boy. Dude, he's walking down the boulevard. That, he's seeing some fancy lady, and he's like, Hey, baby, what's going on over there? <laughs> yeah, dude. Walking, That's exactly dude. what he is, dude. Dude, when me and the boys walking down the boulevard, and we spot ourselves a dame, that's what we do. 
A dame, a sweet babe, perhaps? A oh, dime? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, is that a whole life meat? Hold on, baby girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fiendish chain. Ice bun. All right. Mind drain. Damn, dude. That dude getting fucked up. Heavy storm duster. Crackdown. And Terra of Trishula. And that is the final card in the set. So that was the structure deck that we looked at. The, um, what was it called again? The fucking Freezing Chains. So that was the entire Freezing Chains structure deck. A lot of really good uh, cards in this set. A lot of really, really good looking art on the cards as well. Um, I'm very happy with this. Very happy to have all of these cards in my collection now. I think they are all very worthy of being in my collection. And yeah, big thanks to Columbus Cards and Games for sending this over. Very, very good looking shit. I like that. So let me crack this back into its little box. And then we'll move on to Maximum Gold. Ooh, ah, awooga, awooga. Awooga. <laughs> yeah, get the money. All right. A good start indeed. How's everybody in chat doing? We doing good? All right. Let's keep it going then. We got maximum gold up next. The big boy. Maximum gold. I am very hyped for this. So I believe this contains four packs. Four booster packs of maximum gold. Yeah, each box will include four maximum gold packs with seven cards each. Two premium gold rare cards and five gold letter rares. So I've never had one of these before, so I'm super hyped to crack into this sucker. So let me just get the... Uh, the plastic off of this if I can. Okay, well that came off easily. I will say the box for for this maximum gold looks really good. The entire yeah, look at how shiny it is. Like look at that. Now that the plastic is off, that is really good looking. On the back, little gold pieces are shimmering and shit. I'm liking that a lot. So let's crack open our maximum gold box, which again, I've never had before. So I'm extremely hype. Uh, if I can, of course. Only if I, only if I'm allowed to open it, really. Okay, hang on. I don't want to ruin anything here, so I'm going to actually go off camera to try to open this properly. Oh, there's a little... There we go. Okay, that's how it opens. It opens like this. Has a little thing here that opens up like that, and then the packs are right inside. Maximum gold pack one. Maximum gold pack two. Maximum gold pack three, and maximum gold pack number four. And that is the entire box. It's just four booster box or booster packs of maximum gold. So let's put the box off to the side. Very good looking box. And here are the packs that we have right here. Thank you for the good luck, by the way, Flowers Knot. So here are our four maximum gold booster packs. Keep in mind that a box of this, which is just four booster packs, is like 20, 25 bucks. So each one of these packs is like six, five, six bucks on its own. So yeah, let's crack into them. Our first ever maximum. So yeah, I haven't, ha I've never had any maximum gold packs or maximum gold boxes. So this is the first time opening a, a booster of it. 
Um, I'm super excited. I know there's a lot of really cool cards you can get in this set. Really good looking cool cards. Pack opened like butter, boys. So I'm not sure what the deal is for like um, getting the rare on the back. With Blazing Vortex, it was three to the front. Uh, for this, we're just going to start off normal as is and then for the remaining three we should know what we need to do so let's see what we got we got dragon's mirror our first card there drowning mirror force our second card number 74 master of blades is our third card there really good looking uh hollow on the numbers Oh, what is this? Rank Up Magic, the seventh one? And it has a gold outline on it? Is that this card? Yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. Look at how good that looks. Holy shit. What is that? That's amazing. Look at how good that looks. Holy shit. Wow. I've never seen cards like this. I didn't know they look like this. I really did not know that it looked like this. That looks amazing, dude. Wow, dude. Look at that. Look at how reflective it is. That's insane. Yeah, you could look yeah, you could frame this card easily. One second. Just opening up the TCG player thing here. Um, and we'll sort market high to low and we'll see what is good here. Um, so this one, this is the premium gold rare, I think, right? I think it is. What, rank up magic? Uh, it's not really worth anything, but it's, I mean, it looks fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. Super. There is a card in this set called Forbidden Chalice. You're lying. I'm not, dude. It's a premium gold rare, too. You better pull it. If you pull that, you oh have to frame God, it. You dude. literally have to frame it. I will probably actually frame it. Forbidden Chalice. Hello? That is so fucked. That fun. card is made. All right. For next you. is... Number S39, Utopia of Lightning. Gold rare. Premium golden rare. Holy shit, look at how fucking good this looks. Look at how good that looks. Wow. This just looks amazing, dude. And then Planet Pathfinder. And tuning. So it looks like we want to do two to the front on these. Holy shit, this set is fucking primo, dude. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, we definitely, definitely want to do two to the front so we get those at the back. By the way, there is, for some reason, there's one normal rare card... That is worth more than all the others. That's worth more than most of the premium gold rares. It's only two, like three bucks, but still, it's called Totally Awesome. So if we see that, it would be just a normal rare. Uh, that's a that's a good pull, a decent pull anyway. So let's crack open another one of these packs. We'll do two cards to the front, so that we get the amazing ones on the back here. One. Two. Oh, I must have fucked it up. Okay. Infernity Mirage is on the front. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I fucked that up. It needs to be three, I guess. I don't know. But look at how fucking amazing that shit looks, though. Like, look at that. That's just dummy, dude. Preparation of rights. Eater of millions. <laughs> Dark Lord Contact. Herald of Arc Light is our other one here. Whew. Look at these cards, though. Like, come on, dude. They got that Boulevard shine, shine to it. It really does. It fe it's textured, too. It's all textured. It feels amazing. Lose one turn. Dark Lord Morningstar. These cards are just fucking beautiful. Oh my god. You could literally frame these cards if you wanted to. That's how good they look. The camera does not do it justice either. Like, let me just be totally clear about that. The camera doesn't even do these justice. I'm not going to bother putting any to the front. I'm just going to do it normal. Flame... Uh, Buffer low. Gear, uh, Gigant X. Really good art on even the normal ones. Blue! Oh! I pulled the best card in the set! Golden Blue Eyes White Dragon, dude! Oh my fucking god, that's worth a good chunk. Holy shit! That looks so good! How much, How much is, is it? it? Not much. Like 25 bucks, but still. That's the Good. most... That's the best card in the set. Holy fucking Look shit. Let's go! Let's go! That's original Blue Eyes art as well. Let's fucking like go. Oh my god. I cannot believe I pulled the, the most expensive card in the set. That is amazing. Easy, Easy fucking claps, dude. dude. Fucking blue eyes. Blue eyes. Look, Look at it. it. Look, Look at it. it. Twenty-five to thirty dollars, roughly. Yeah. At least that's what it's listed as. I wouldn't sell it if I was you. No, I'm not selling it. Absolutely not. I would never sell this. Holy shit! How the Look actual fuck thing. did I pull the best card in the entire fucking set out of four packs? This being the third pack. I cannot believe it. Look at that, dude. That looks so fucking amazing. Oh my god. Look at how good it looks. It looks so... I love the... It's like they didn't fuck up the outline on Blue Eyes as well. It's just like thick enough for it to be like pop. Oh my god. Look at that. It looks that. so good. Wow. Holy shit. Let me look at the other one I got. Uh... I don't even know what the, I, I'm putting this on the side because that's, that's getting, um, that's getting put in fucking, um, cases and shit. Uh, that card. I, would I got the red that. eyes black dragon in the same set! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Uh, is that Is the that second the best? best? <laughs> no, but it's up there, I think. Still, oh, no, I don't think it's hard. up there actually, but it's really nice. Where is the oh, red eyes on this? I, I don't think the red eyes is worth too much, right? Where is the red eyes? I'm trying to find it. Must be worth almost nothing if I'm this far back and can't find it. Well, it's a cool ass card. I cannot believe I pulled Blue Eyes White Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon in the same fucking pack. That's sick as fuck, dude. I literally cannot find this card anywhere. Where is it? Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Oh, I did. This is one of the best cards in the set. Wow. Un-fucking-real.
Okay, and then we got Speederoid, Red-Eyed Dice, and the Prime Monarch. Okay, guys, I want to show you something. That pack I just opened, okay? Look at this. What the fuck? I cannot believe this. That's just unreal. Those this is like unbelievable. The, those are like those the are like, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yu -Oh cards. Those are they are like the original yeah. fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is literally the best card in the entire set. Is the blue eyes? Like we pulled the best card in the whole fucking set on our third pack. This is it. Unfucking real. And then a red eyes just to fucking sweeten the deal more. Oh my god. I have never had cards that were more worthy of a soft case and a hard case. Ever. Ever. Holy fuck. These are my favorite two cards in my entire collection as of now. Easily my favorite cards in my collection. I'm opening up a brand new pack of soft cases just for these two cards. Because they deserve ones that have not been sitting on my desk that are just totally brand fucking squeezy new. I gotta get this blue eyes in there right the fuck now. I'm not, I'm not even doing it on camera because I don't give a shit about showing it. I just want to do it right. <laughs> I'm not risking anything bad happening to these fucking things. I'm doing it very carefully and taking all the time I need to get these in properly. That is just unreal, dude. Holy shit. I cannot even... I, I, I actually still can't believe that I pulled these. You're crazy. That is, like, by far the most insane shit. There it is. Perfectly in a beautiful. in a soft and a hard case. Fucking oh, beautiful, beautiful, dude. It really is. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus dude, Christ. Once in a boulevard, boulevard, you find, you find something, something like that. that. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Do I know what these cards do? No, I just know that they're incredibly rare. This is the this is the most valuable card in the set. Does he even know what these cards do? No, I collect them. I don't play the card game. I like good card games, not bad card games that are unfun to play, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of them. But I like collecting the cards because I love Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. Fucking beautiful. Let me get the red eyes in the, in the case now. I still cannot fucking believe that. Nice and easy. I'm running out of hard cases, but that's okay. If I had some golden sleeves, that would have been awesome. If only the box it like came with something like that, that would have been sick. But it doesn't.
fucking come. Fucking come, dude. Fucking bullshit, come. There you have it. There's the red eyes. We got the two boys walking down the boulevard, chat. Un-fucking believable, dude. I cannot believe that shit. That's fucked. That is absolutely fucked. Alright, we still have one more fucking pack, too. That's the funniest part. Still another blue eyes waiting. Yeah. Pull two blue eyes in one box. Be disgusting. Yeah, remember, like the video for an epic gamer blue eyes with a huge penis. Yeah, yeah. Super's got the right idea here. All right, the final pack. Let's see what we got here. We got another flame bufferlo, which was how the last pack started. Maybe repeat pack puck. Got a fucking what is what even is that? Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. Nice fucking fur. Harpy's Feather Duster. Ooh. Golden rare. Depo card, depo card, depo card, depo card. Which guess what? This is one of the best cards in the set too. This one's worth ten dollars. This one is worth wow. more than red eyes. The fuck? The fuck? You know maximum gold's only twenty seven fucking bucks, my guy? Yeah. You've literally made two maximum gold boxes off of that one thing. How the fuck am I pulling this good shit? <laughs> I don't believe this, dude. I don't believe this. How the fuck am I getting so lucky with these pulls? This is insane. This is awesome. Look at how good that looks. My god. Fucking beautiful, dude. Let's keep going on that set there. Uh, barrier statue of the storm winds. Synchron carrier. Kitchen dragon maid is our final uh, premium golden rare. I don't think that is anything. Kitchen dragon maid. I don't think anyone cares about kitchen dragon maid. Woman in the in kitchen, kitchen where she belongs. belongs. Actually, it's not the worst one. It's one of the better premium gold rares. It's not that good. It's like two bucks, but still. Given there's a shit ton of, of premium golden rares, this is still one of the better ones. And then Storming Mere Force. I just cannot fucking believe this shit happened. It's it's kind of fucking dumb, honestly. Did fucking uh did Jake fucking like <laughs> somehow like weigh these packs? You can't weigh these because it's guaranteed to Golden borders in each uh, in each pack, but still, fuck. But yeah, one box of this, which is like twenty bucks, is only four packs. Like we're done. That was the whole box, and we fucking made out stupidly good. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I still cannot believe how fucking amazing we made out. Look at that, boys. Look at that. You should send, send that to Nate. Nate. He's gonna he shit his pants. I honestly should, because this, this shit is dumb. Just take a screenshot of, like, that. 
and send that to Nate. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll hold still. Still, still, still. As, still as still as you can. can. Marcus, Marcus, there's, there's a, big a big hot lady, lady and if you don't stand still, still she's gonna still fucking still leave, leave, okay? You gotta yeah. stand yeah. by for the yeah. outfit. There, there you go, you go. thank you. Nice. <laughs> oh, that is some good looking shit, dude. Ah, oh, damn, I still cannot get, o get over that, dude. I really can't. <laughs> Alright, let me get uh, the hole inside of this pack real quick. And then we'll move on to the main event. That wasn't even the main event, okay? The main event is the booster box that we have of Blazing Vortex. That was meant to be the main event, but it just got heavily overshadowed by those pulls that we just got. Like, holy fucking cum. And the rest of these normal cards look great as well. Goddamn, Marcus. Make it bang, baby! Okay. I would say it's about time for the main event. Unopened Blazing Vortex Booster Box. 24 booster packs. Nine cards per pack. It's a lot of cards, boys. It's a lot of fucking cards. I opened one of these recently, and we didn't get any super good pulls out of it. This time, we are going to try to get some better pulls. Now, last time we didn't... Yeah, we didn't get any Starlight Rares last time, but we did get two Secret Rares, which was nice. Secret Rares are nice. But this time, we are going to do our best to get... A Starlight Rare. I don't care what one it is, because all of the Starlight Rares are incredibly fucking valuable. <laughs> so let me go to Blazing Vortex on TCG. Okay, yep. So obviously, the card that we really want to pull, there's two cards that we would be very happy to pull here. And it's Pot of, Prosper of Prosperity Starlight Rare and Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, which we hilariously we pulled in the other one, but we're looking for the Starlight Vare variant. Both of those are roughly $350 each. Okay. Trishula right now on TCG Player, the lowest listing to, bur to, to buy a Starlight Rare Trishula is $420. So, there's some big boys here. There's definitely some big boys. There are... So, one booster box, which is what I have here, is $60 to buy a booster box. There are in this set, right now, six separate cards that are worth more than the entire booster box. Worth more than $60. You have Pot of Prosperity, the regular secret rare one, which is $90 market price... You have Heavenly Zephyr, uh, Miradoria, which is a Starlight Rare, $142 market price. Armed Dragon Thunder Level 10 Starlight Rare, $154. Live Twin Lila Treat Starlight Rare, $207. And then Trishula and Pot of Prosperity Starlight Rare, both of them which are both roughly $350 of market price. So those are the biggest boys we're looking for. All of the Starlight Rares are $150 or more. So if we see a Starlight Rare, doesn't even matter what the name is, we're getting excited, okay? Now, my goal is to at least do better than our last booster box. Our last booster box, if you remember, we pulled two Secret Rares. So we want to at least do better than that, okay? At least. I'd be happy to do a little bit better than that. So I'd say it's time to get into it. Jake, you didn't see anything? Jake, do you want to see what I pulled from the maximum gold? You want to see that? You like that, Jake? <laughs> hey, 
and red eyes and feather duster. All of them are the premium gold. We made bank on the maximum gold, dude. Blue eyes, red eyes, harpies, feather duster. Sending some luck for a starlight rare. Thank you so much, Exalted One, for the $10 dono. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Let me get the bell for you. Yeah, dude. We made out good. And you want to know the best part, Jake? These two cards were in the same pack. Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultra Premium Golden Rare and Red Eyes B Dragon. These were in the same pack. Fucking unbelievable. I still can't get over these, dude. Fucking beautiful cards. Anyways, we did not start with the, um, the Blazing Vortex yet. You got here just in time. I'm just about to take the plastic off of it now. So you'll be here for the entire Blazing Vortex, which is the main event. I mean, this is main event, dude. His main event. Yeah, that pack alone is worth like 40 bucks. It's fucking insane. That pack alone is worth like two separate <laughs> boxes of the of the shit. I, I, I still can't believe I pulled that. That is the single most like insane Yu-Gi-Oh pack I've ever pulled in my life. Easily. But maybe that'll change right now with Blazing Vortex. You're counting on me pulling this? I'll do my best. For those of you who don't know, Jake Rigby in the YouTube chat is the person who sent me all of this wonderful stuff. He's the owner of Columbus Cards and Games, which is a card shop in Columbus, Georgia, where you can buy cards of all kinds, including Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and you can also buy them online. So give our boys some support. If you guys buy cards, okay, if you buy cards, buy them from him, because why not? He was generous enough to send this shit over. And it is amazing. You pulled a Starlight Trish at the shop? Holy fucking God, dude. And a, you got a Starlight Pot, too? Wow. That's insanity, dude. That's just pure insanity. I hope I can get some luck like that. Oh, you will. Don't worry about it. Since I'm here, my autism, your autism, bang. It would be nice if I can actually get the thing open. I wish I had something sharp here. Well, this might do, actually. There we go. I actually did the trick. All right. Here we go. About that time, lads. Out of the same case? Now that's insane. Our second Blazing Vortex booster box. Oh boy. We're back in it again, lads. We're back in it again. I didn't think I'd be back in this set so again so soon. But here we are. All right, we got uh, quite a bit to get through, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit to get through. So let's just uh, fucking get on with it. Put our huge fucking booster pack stack over yonder. And we'll get started with our very first pack. Now, I, I'm i not going to go super slow with the normal cards like I did the first time I opened this box. Just because I've pulled most of the cards in this set already. Except for the rare ones, of course. So, I'm not going to, you know, analyze the art on all of them and everything over and over again. Uh, we already did that. So, 
Thanks for the good luck, Jake. Hopefully we can pull some good shit here. Well, I believe it was three to the front. One, two, three. And now we can get on into it. Breath of Acclamation. Ojima Pink. Synchro Transmission. Let me... Heavy Metal Foss Amalgam. Parametal Foss Melcaster. Bug in my face. Okay. Dual Avatar Ascendance. Eroy Jenkins. And White Baking. Wait. Oh, was it not three to the front? It might have been four to the front, actually. Okay, yeah, but there's a, a super rare. Nothing too interesting. And then on the end is nothing because it was four to the front. Okay. My bad. Yep. Let's continue on. With pack number two. This bug... Won't stop fucking with me. I think he's telling you it's snack time, Mark. Just grab him. You know? <laughs> okay, so it's four to the front. One, two, three, four to the front. Not three, but four. Okay. Radiant Butthole. Breath of Acclamation. Again already. Virtual World Gate. Airway to a Fabled Realm. That's a cool looking card. I don't think I've gotten that one yet. Reinforcement of the Army's Troops. Armor Dragon Ritual. Ancient Warrior Saga Chivalrous Path. Knight of Armor Dragon. And Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. Super rare. Nothing too interesting yet. Good looking hollow though, I will say that. Next. Or to the front. S4 Specimen. Green Mirror Recap. The Fabled Nut. Big Nut is back again. Virtual World Gate. Near Equation Cannon. I love this card. What a fucking card. War Rock Skylar. Mega Thunder Cyclops, or Gyclops, Gayclops, Armor Dragon Ritual, and on the very end, that's not the very end, is it? Oh, yes, it is. S Force, Orifist, Orifice, put it in my Orifice. Super rare. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. We only really care about uh, ultra rares and above. Super rares ain't shit. Because you're guaranteed at least, uh, at least a super rare. So that's like the bare minimum. One. Four. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, starting off with the nut? Gotta be a it good pack. Starlight, by the way. Oh yeah, definitely. We started off with big nut, dude. There's gotta be a starlight rare in this one. Well, that nut is sentient. is sentient. He knows he's getting in. He wants it, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Springin's ass, heavy metal foes amalgam, pyramid foes melcaster. I feel like I've gotten those two in a, like in a row a couple times now. Dual avatar ascendance, Leroy Jenkins, and on the very end, pyramid foes azortless. This is That's just like a regular. Dollars. Whoa, bug! Just normal super rare yet again. It is a good looking super rare though. I'll give it that.
Okay, Raging Storm Dragon. Bring in Petal. Machina on Class Bar. Springin's Blast. Dogmatica Genesis. Parametophos Fusion. S4 Showdown. Roy Jenkins. Constell Arcadius. That is our super rare for that pack. Quite poopy, honestly. Next. Okay, we're still at the very beginning of the box. We got plenty left, boys. Plenty left. But we should start getting some, uh, at least some ultra rares at this point, I'd say, right? Yeah, at least some ultra rares. One. Four. Akina on class bar. Fedor. Archmean Staff of Despair. War Rock Orpus. Linear Equation Cannon. War Rock Skylar. Pick a Thunder Cyclops. Armor Dragon Rich One on the end. Armor Dragon Level 10 White. This is our first uh, uh, Ultra Rare, rather. Our first Ultra Rare. Looks pretty good at least. Good looking one, I'm pretty sure I already have it, but it looks good. Yeah, I definitely have this one because I remember this streak going through it. I remember that. Pretty cool pull, I already have it. Next. One, two, three, four. Archfiend Staff of Despair. Bringin's Blast. Machina on Claspar. Bringin's Pedor. Steel Star Regulator. Bringin's Branga. Icy Breeze Refrain. Fabled Marcosia. Psychic Eraser Laser is our uh, super rare. Now it's a super rare that we already have. I don't think we have this one actually. It's a really good looking hollow. I will say that. I like the green. Looks very cool. Good looking hollow at least. Keep on blowing through. One. Three. Bahor. That's the most value super rare in the set. Oh, interesting. Dollar twenty one. Not bad. That's decent at least, because I, I knew I didn't pull that in the last box, so. Wind Bitch, War Rock, Raging Drag, Raging Storm Dragon, Locking on Class Bar, S4 Showdown, Springin's Call, Reinforcement of Army's Troops, Springin's Rocky, Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, Regular Super Rare. But a good looking one nonetheless. Look at him go. Good for him. Looks like all the juice is gonna be in the second half of this uh of this box. But we are definitely overdue for a big pull, I would say. Are there specific odds for Starlight Rare or are they just random? There's at least one Starlight Rare in every two cases, I believe. And a case is like I don't know, like three or four booster boxes, I think. So I think it's like one in every ten booster boxes, or maybe a little bit less or more than that. Something like that. Hmm. 
Archfiend Staff of Despair. Or Rock. Or Rock. Wind Bitch. Guitars. Fairy. Genesis. Giga. Bringin's Watch. Super rare. And it is... I don't think I have this yet. Honestly. Oh, a case is 12 boxes? Okay, so yeah, Starlight is 1 in 25 booster boxes. Hmm. This is a cool looking one that I do not have. I know that. Now I do. That. S Force. Dragon Blitz. Ringants. The Regulator. Ringants. Freeze. Fabled. Okay. And ultra rare. Okay, I think. No, this is a super rare, I think. Yeah. It's a good looking card, though. Look at how good that looks. That looks fucking sweet. sweet. Jesus. Doesn't it? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm so glad that there's like cards that aren't worth anything but look really good. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of the cards in the set look really good. Yeah. One. Thirty. Bahor. Ringans, Ujima Pink, Digital Bug, Registrider, Pride Brigade Rendezvous, Reinforcement of the Army's Troops, Armor Dragon Ritual, Ancient Warrior Saga Chivalrous Path, Knight of Armor Dragon, S Force. Oh, that is a secret rare. That's a secret rare, yeah. We got a secret rare. S Force bri uh, Bridgehead. Nice. That is a secret rare, at least. Okay, so we at least got one secret rare so far. This is worth uh, four dollars and fifty-six cents. This is actually one of the better ones, I'd say. It's most, it's okay. Yeah, four dollars fifty six cents is the market value on this card. Not bad, not bad. It's better than nothing. So I can tell that it's a, a secret rare. For those of you who don't know, let me see if I can get it in the light correctly. There's lines going through it. Um, it's hard to make it show up on camera though. can get it if I hold it at some angles. Oh, there we go. You can see it there. See how there's like those lines going diagonally? Yeah, pretty good looking. Good looking for sure. I'll put that off to the side. That'll get a soft case when the time comes. I will say, one of the things I really liked about the Maximum Gold sets is that the packs opened up, like, easier than any other Yu-Gi-Oh! packs I've ever had.
Tilted Try. Premier Recap. Try Brigade Rendezvous. Pro Transmission. Car. Anime. Giga Thunder. Wind Witch Diamond Bell. This is an ultra rare and a good looking one at least. Pretty sure I already have it, but it's a very good looking ultra rare. Okay. So far, we are only at one secret rare. Remember that we're trying to beat two secret rares, which is what we got in the last booster box. We got two secret rares. This one opened weird. There we go. Tilted try, bringins, bug, rind, horse, tabled, parametalphos, angela moncor, and now this is unfortunately not the big one that you might think. This is live twin. Lil a treat, but it is not the Starlight Rare, unfortunately. This is just the Ultra Rare. Not the Starlight Rare. This is just a normal Ultra Rare. So there is a Starlight Rare version of this. But this is just the Ultra Rare version of it, unfortunately. This is worth $2.27. Sad. Could have been a Starlight Rare. Could have been the Starlight Rare version, but no. That's okay. At least it looks cool. Almost, chat. Almost. So we're more than halfway done now with the set. Or with the box, rather. One. Two. Four. All right, Bubs. Bubs, this is not a good time for you to come up here, though. Could have come up any other time. <laughs> Virtual world gate. Stairway. Nut. Nut is here. Fabled Treason, or Showdown, Springin's Call, Reinforcement of the Army's Troops, Springin's Rocky, and Drag Unity Knight. A super rare. So poopy. Hi, bubs. Hello. Such a good boy. Let's keep it going downtown. Yeah. Down the boulevard, boulevard perhaps. Oh, yeah. One. Four. <laughs> Radiant poop. Bringins. Arm Dragon Blitz. War Rock. Ringens, Icy Breeze, Neroy Jenkins, Warrock, Maha Vilo, Light of the Heavens. That is an ultra rare, I believe. No, it's a super rare, never mind. Still a good looking one though, nonetheless. Look at that sucker. Very good looking. 
I love Maha Vila. Yeah, me too. It's a really cool card. Down to our last seven or eight packs. Hopefully we can pull something in here. Even if it's just another secret rare, I'd be happy. If we can at least match the last booster box that we had, then I'd be happy. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four. Let's just hope that all the juice is at the end of this box and not at the beginning, because the last one had most of it at the at the end, I believe. Dry Brigade, Synchro Transmission, Radiant, Inflammation, First Professor, Marcosia, Parametophos, Moncor, MR. This is a, another card that I know I already have because I remember... I remember pulling this, just a normal super rare. One, three, four. Anime vampire. Stairway to a Fabled Realm, Dry Brigade Rendezvous, Archfiend Staff of Despair, Anime, Arm Dragon Lightning, Parametophos Fusion, R, and Wind Witch Chimes, regular super rare that I already have. Next. Arm Dragon Blitz, Springen's Pedor, Belted Try, Dream Recap, Springen's Branga, Ice Refrain, Neroy Jenkins, Warrock Skylar, Metalphos Vanisher. Super rare, yet again. Cool. We're down to the last one, two, six packs. Six more packs, boys. Let's pray to God that there's something good in one of these six, at least. At least a secret rare. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Gotta be at least a secret rare in one of these, right? One, two, three. Dragon Blitz, or Rock Orpus, Belted Try, Springen's Blast, Knight of Armor Dragon, Warrior Saga, Abled Marcosia, Springen's Call, oh we already pulled this, this is that Gigaboros cool looking card. Really cool looking, but still only super rare, I believe, yeah. But a really good looking one. That's still cool. Five packs remain, boys. Will we actually get anything in this set? Or will this be a bad booster box? We will find out soon. Or Breath of Acclamation, a pink, Pro Transmission, S4 Specimen, Spring and Rocky, Dual Avatar Ascendance, Heavy Metal Fos Amalgam, Angela Moncor, War Rock Fortia. Fortia. Regular Super Rare, already have it. Next. Four packs remain.
I think we used up all of our luck on that maximum gold box, boys. Which I'm perfectly fine with. That maximum gold box was dummy, dude. That was just the most insane pulls I've ever had. Like, holy fuck. Digital bug. Wind. Wind bitch. Or rock ordeal. Giga thunder. Oh, I dropped. Giga thunder. And uh, the card behind it, which is Steel Star Regulator. Bring in Ranga, S Force Professor. A cool looking card. Pulled this already, I, I think, though, right? Dream Mirror Tormentor? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one we said looked really cool. Yeah, cool looking card. Yeah, super rare, though. Only three packs. We didn't even get that many ultra rares. That's the sad thing. We got one secret rare and not that many ultra rares. So far, we only have three packs left. One. Three. Four. Premier recap. Fabled Big Nut. Virtual World Gate. Yeah, this box poopy so far. Yeah, we only have three packs to turn it around, so. Fabled Marcosia. Bringin's Call. Virtual World Otohime Toto. Unfortunately, just another super rare. Two secrets and four ultras per box. Well, then that means that one of these is going to have a secret. Oh, hopefully. Because we've only pulled one secret rare. We might have pulled four ultras. I'm not sure. We didn't pull that many. That's for sure. This might be a below average box, depending on what these next two packs have. One. Two. Raging Boner. Oh. Akina. Yeah, that's what it's mean. <laughs> Anime. S Force and Erectum. Anime. Arm Dragon Lightning. Paramedophos Fusion. Car Anime. Okay, well, we got another secret rare at least. El Eldlich the Mad Golden Lord. This is a secret rare. That's good, at least. I mean, at least it's something, right? That card looks cool as fuck. Yeah, $3.62. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. See if I can get it in such a way that you can actually see that it's a secret. I can't even. It's hard to do on camera. Yeah, really good looking secret rare here. I'll put that over here to get in at least a soft case and then chat the final pack we're at the end the final pack let's just jump right into it boys one two three card be something good Let's hope so. Bring in Pedor. Uh. Last is three. On the seven, S4 Professor is eight. And then on the very end, the final card of the entire set is. Okay, at least we got another ultra rare finally, but it's still shit. Seven cities of the Golden Land. There it is. 
Not a good box, I will say. But at least it's as good as the last box, right? Like, at least it's as good as the last box. It could have been a lot worse, okay? It could have been a lot worse. Could have definitely been a lot worse. But listen, chat. When I look at... When I look at this stuff here... When I look at that, okay, not to mention, I know these aren't good, but I mean, plus these, I can't really be that mad. Oh, you can see on the S-Force, the card on the left, you can see the uh, secret rare like sparkles perfectly now. Look at that. Yeah, really nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Quite get that on this one. A little bit harder to make it show because of the darker colors. But yeah. Listen, I cannot get mad at at what we're looking at here, boys. Especially pulling the blue eyes white dragon. Like, that is just the most incredible thing, dude. Must not have weighed the box correctly. <laughs> well, he definitely weighed the maximum gold box correctly. Jesus. A single pack having this inside of it. That is just the most gross shit ever right there. That's amazing. I can't believe that. Well, that's everything, chat. Remember, Jake Rigby in the chat is the person who sent me all of this great stuff. So, Jake Rigby uh, owns a card shop in Columbus, Georgia, called Columbus Cards and Games. However, he also sells that stuff online. He has his card shop online selling as well. So, I really think that if you guys buy any type of cards or anything like that, you should check out his Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Columbus Cards and Games. And if you're watching this after the fact, I will have a link for you in the description. If you're watching this right now, I'm putting the link in chat yet again. Go check out the Facebook page, like it, and give him some support. Because Jake is not just some random person who came into chat one day and said, Hey, I own a card shop, can I send you shit? He's been a viewer for a very long time. And then when he saw me opening cards recently, he mentioned that he could send me some stuff. And then after that, mentioned he owned a card shop. So he's not just trying to get his name out there or anything. He's just a genuine viewer who owns a business that I think that you guys should support if you can. If you buy cards, buy them there. That's that's my recommendation. I'm going to be, you know. I don't know what the fuck you guys are going to do. But whenever I buy shit from now on, like card related, I'm just going to buy it there. Because why not? It's pretty much the same it's it's the same exact price as buying it elsewhere except I get to support somebody who is, you know, part of the community. So why not? No skin off my nose, dude. So yeah, that's going to be it, boys. That's the end of the stream. Absolutely amazing stuff. I still can't believe how good the maximum gold set was. Like what the fuck? It was just such a genuinely amazing set that I just don't understand. We got ungodly lucky with those golden pulls and I just could not be happier about it. Let me get all this shit put away. At least somewhat put away, Jesus. There's so many cards. I guess when you open up 24 packs and every single pack has 9 cards in them, 24 times 9, that many cards will uh, definitely add up. Let's try to get everything into the booster box that it came in. Generally where I store all of this shite. 
it's not shite. It's actually really, really amazing looking stuff, but you get the idea. We will get a Starlight Rare one day in this set, but it will not be today, and that's okay. Because one day is fine. does not have to be today. I'm not great. Dude, after pulling the blue eyes, the red eyes, and the harpy's feather duster, bruh, I ain't going to be greedy. <laughs> I got more than my fair share in those four packs. So did we eat up all of our luck with those four packs? Yeah, absolutely. Am I okay with that? Oh, yeah. I'm more than okay with that. <laughs> No, it's totally fine, Jake. That maximum gold box was so incredibly good that I could have pulled zero super rare. It could have been all commons in that whole box, and I still wouldn't have been mad because of how good that maximum gold box was. This is genuinely unreal how good, how great that was. So let me get these um, secret rares in soft cases, and then we'll be done streaming for today. I would say this has been a damn good day. Send me dude, something else soon. Got nice, dude. Some super bug cool cards. You had a good run in FM. Yeah. Had a good day. Okay. All in all, damn good day of streaming. I really cannot complain. We had fun playing games and shit. And we could still play more if you want. Oh, yeah. Unless you're tired. No, I'm, I was tired. Then you got that blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that woke me up too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a chalice as well. And then we could play Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. You fucking know it, dog. Okay, I think that's just about everything. I think I have the rest of the golden card. Yeah, these are all the golden cards that I got. Um, let me get the other like premium golden cards out even if they're not good ones separate them you know what i mean hold on i think that's all yep that's all these put in here as well Okay. Yeah, oh, I've got to keep the hain hain on here. That's for sure. And let me just go put this stuff over here. All right, chat. I think that's going to be it for me. So thank you guys so much for wanting a Forbidden Chalice. Oh, hell yeah. The Forbidden Chalice, dude. <laughs> that is like the most legendary shit ever. Some of you might be screaming, why are you not saving the, the wrappers for the Blazing Vortex packs? Uh, 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 I already saved the last booster box worth of them. I don't think I'm going to need 58 empty pieces of plastic or foil uh, so I think we'll be okay on that one there we go all right all cleaned up all set that's it so thank you guys so much for watching thank you again Jake I really appreciate it yeah some sleeves would be good actually if you have any um sleeves especially top loaders because I just realized that I am kind of out of top loaders now. <laughs> I only have one left. I'm saving this one for the big pull. The big, big pull. <laughs> so that's going to be it, everybody. Oh, yeah, you, you missed it, Marco. Um, we did not get anything good in the in the Blazing Vortex. However, in the Maximum Gold, we did get good shit. And by good shit, I mean 
So every maximum gold pack has two premium gold cards in them. Do you want to see what I got in a single pack? Yeah. This was in one pack. This is the best card in the entire maximum gold set right here. The single best card in the whole set. Like the, the rarest, most valuable card in the entire set right there. And, and right after I pulled the blue eyes, literally right behind it was the red eyes. It was amazing. And another good that we pulled was Harpy's Feather Duster. And then uh, Kitchen Dragon Maid, which isn't bad. It's okay. And then the only cool stuff that we got out of the entire Blazing Vortex box was... Two secret rares, that's it. Just two secret rares. Nothing else interesting. And the secret rares were these two right here. And that's it. That's all we got. Yeah, it is really sick. Oh, hell yeah, Jake. I appreciate it, man. Alright, guys. I gotta take a piss, and then I'm gonna play some Binding of Isaac off stream with Super. So thank you all for watching. What an amazing stream. We've been streaming for three hours and 47 minutes. It's been a great time. I appreciate you all. Thanks again to Jake and Columbus Cards and Games. Facebook.com slash Columbus Cards and Games. All together, no spaces after the Facebook.com. Visit it. Link will be in description for anybody who's watching this not live. For those of you who are watching it live, link is in chat right now, like I said. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time, and bye-bye.